Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. We are out here. We're in nature. Woo. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Are you someone who lets your emotions get the best of you? Right? We got a question that came in from someone who said this. Like, they just say stuff which gets them into a lot of trouble. In other words, they've got a big mouth, they end up upsetting people, and they wanna learn how to control emotions when in chaos. We ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? Do you know how good it feels saying that? On the count of three, let's say it together. One, two, can I get a hello there? That's like pure joy. And we're not going to control that at all. We're not going to control our emotions. No, 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 no. We don't want to control our emotions. As a psychologist who's been studying the subconscious mind for well over a decade, let me share with you what's helped me along my journey in becoming my greatest version. You see, a lot of us, we talk about controlling emotions like joy, sadness. Do you know what that does to you? It creates a lot of resistance. Resistance makes stronger. So have you ever been in a situation, deep divers, where let's just say you're talking back and forth with someone and then you know you shouldn't say that you know you shouldn't say that at all. You're thinking, should I say that or not? I know it's really going to upset them, but you can't stop yourself, right? And you say it anyway. So the relationship is kind of, basically you got a whole load of bananas thrown at you. It's not a good look. And you're like blaming yourself, beating yourself over the head, slapping yourself saying I shouldn't have said that I shouldn't have done that why did I let my emotions get the best of me in the heat of the moment so when I work with people I say you've got to learn how to start balancing your emotions around other people now I wrote yesterday <laughs> learn to realize your level of gratitude is directly proportional to your level of happiness. Mm. Slow motion that side. Mm. Let me repeat that. Your level of gratitude is directly proportional to your level of happiness. Now, what does this have to do with emotions? When I talk of emotions, I'm talking about the energy in motion. You see, it's no secret. The happiest people in the world, the most joyful, that emotion joy, they are the most emotionally and mentally balanced people in the world. Because you see, joy balances out all the other emotions. And joy is based on gratitude. That's why I meet people every day. They're always complaining, always miserable because they are ungrateful. So every single day, I am mentally and emotionally balanced because I am grateful. Now, it starts with a food. To start balancing your emotions, it starts with a food. You see, because just say you, you're in a conversation, in the heat of the moment you say something, you get really angry, there's nothing you can do to control that. And you don't want to control that, but you want to Realize prevention is better than cure. So seven day vegan challenge. Let me share with you that I've been a vegan for over 11 years. I've been embracing that plant-based diet. Lots of people doing the seven day vegan challenge. And do you, know what they, do you know what they tell me? They feel calmer, happier, more confident, more emotionally balanced than ever before. Now, when I used to eat a lot of processed foods, my emotions were all over the place. There was no balance there at all. But as soon as I woke up with a bunch of grapes in my mouth, a lot of watercress, a whole lot of kale, all of a sudden, I wasn't so like this. I was more like that. I had more of an equilibrium. 
You see, we don't realize energy is transferred. It can never be destroyed. So if you are, if you are eating pain from a tortured animal, that gets transferred to your DNA. Therefore, it is making you mentally and emotionally unbalanced. Right? So you've got to look what's on your plate. You see, peace starts on your plate. <laughs> your emotional balance starts on your plate. Your mental balance starts on your plate. Is what you are eating in balance emotionally? Right? Ask yourself that today. It's all about allowing yourself to express any single emotion you choose okay you don't want to control emotions that's almost like controlling a pipe which is about to burst and water is about to gush everywhere why would you want to stop that that's like the best picture in the world to see right you want the water to go everywhere and say wow okay but you see, a lot of us realize we've got a short temper, a short fuse, and this now impacts and interferes with our relationship. Sometimes you meet a great person, but you just, you just like cuss them out. Why? Right? They could have been your future partner, for goodness sakes. Thinking is everything when it comes to developing emotional and mental balance. You've got to start changing your thoughts. Change your thoughts and you change your world. That's easy to say, it's a lot harder to practice. You see, a lot of us, the reason why we can't balance our emotions is because we have a lot of limiting belief systems. It's all BS, belief systems. I'll give you an example. Let's just say somebody says, I don't trust anybody, right? Another emotion, trust, okay? I don't trust anybody. So when you're with them, you start asking them a lot of questions because you're never satisfied with what they tell you because you just don't trust them. So in that act, you find yourself like a short fuse, okay? You're erupting at any given moment in time. So you've got to realize that it's not so much about the other person. It's about going within yourself to find out your triggers to say, why don't I trust this person? And it will come back to your subconscious beliefs that, for example, all people are bad because I watch the news and I'm being fed a daily dose of fear. You see, if you are always looking for the worst in people, you will always find it. If you are always looking for the best in people, you will always find it, thus bringing you more mental and emotional balance. You see, the fact of the matter is, how you respond is everything. A lot of people have done some awful things to me like the cat down the road, right? How you respond to it is what matters. If someone has done you dirty, they have betrayed you, they have even upset you and you're just lashing out at them, that's fine. But you've got to sometimes take time to reflect. I always say, in the heat of the moment, take five seconds Woo. Just to breathe in that good ass prana, baby. I feel calmer all of a sudden. Because you see, a lot of us, we're not breathing deep from the base of our spines. Therefore, we're not emotionally and mentally balanced. How you react is everything. You see, we get into certain situations and we are triggered to react in certain ways. Therefore, it's not so much what other people are doing, it's what we need to work on within ourselves. To become mentally 
and emotionally balanced, you've got to learn how to work on yourself. You've got to see the bigger picture that there are so many triggers. Do you know there are even things that piss me off? No, Ralph, that's impossible. Oh yeah, it's the truth, right? So I've always got to be in that state of balance. But once again, I'm always grateful. So joy, the master emotion, will balance out your sadness, your surprise, your anticipation, your anger, once you learn the value of gratitude. If you are ungrateful, chances are you are gonna be the most mentally and emotionally unbalanced person in the world. So ask yourself, how can I practice more gratitude? You see, a lot of people become unbalanced in their emotions because they focus on what doesn't serve them. They focus on what is not good for them and they focus on something which leads nowhere. So why are they focusing on it? Because they are externalizing. <laughs> Let's just say someone doesn't reply to you in an email or they don't call you back. Maybe it's a partner. Why are they doing that? Nobody knows. Now you are furious at this moment. You call them and you start cussing them out, saying you da 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 da. You haven't even thought about what you're saying. You're just saying it and spewing this at them. Okay? Now, they were somewhere else. They didn't even have their phone on them. But because you ascribed intent, you said, no, they did it. It was personal. They were trying to hurt me. Now you end up hurting them. You see, the most emotionally and mentally balanced people in the world never ascribe intent. Let me repeat that. The most emotionally and mentally balanced people in the world never ascribe intent. They don't say, okay, this person didn't call me back because they don't like me. No. They're like, they probably got lost in the woods, <laughs> right? They're probably somewhere partying right now. Let them enjoy themselves. You see, many of us, we are insecure in wondering if people really like us. That is why we are at war sometimes with other people. But you've got to realize it all starts with you. It all starts with going on the journey within. Now, how do I do this? I've been making a lot of videos in nature for a long time. And you know, every time I come into nature, whew, apart from doing that and breathing in that good ass prana, baby, I take time to tune in to the frequency around me. I got birds singing there, birds singing there. And beautiful grass all around me, baby. It feels fantastic. Beautiful leaves all around me, baby. It feels fantastic. Ecotherapy, getting into nature every single day so you can just take a chill pill. But more so, so you can start focusing on you. A lot of us, we are emotionally and mentally unbalanced because we are focusing on them. We are comparing ourselves to other people. We are competing with other people. I'm in a league of my own, baby. Can I get a hello there? So when you realize to be more mentally and more emotionally balanced, you've got to start not being so hard on yourself in terms of when it comes to expressing how you feel. It is okay to express how you feel in any given moment in time. But what is not okay is to deal and accept emotions and put up with emotions which don't serve you. Okay? A lot of sadness, which is fine, but if you are just in sadness perpetually, that is lowering your vibration because the highest vibration is joy. And even if you are sad, if you are still focusing on the joy factor through the gratitude, that balances out everything. And now you are in a perfect homeostasis, a perfect equilibrium. You see, many of us, we are 
emotionally and mentally unbalanced because we are simply around the wrong people. We spend our time with people who don't care about us, who we wouldn't even, we wouldn't even want to be around them. But we're around them because we feel that's all we're worthy for. Well, your vibe attracts your tribe. We know that. But what we don't know is that if you are around people, if you are around people and they have a particular type of energy, if you are long, if you are around them long enough, you are going to start merging into their energy or vice versa. Because we become like the people we surround ourselves with most often. You see, I'm always around a lot of people who have a lot of, well, blueberries in their mouth, a lot of people who are on that higher frequency. I get inspired by people, I'm not gonna lie, right? They help me lift up and I help them lift up and then we're all like flying in the sky. Pretty awesome. But if you are around people who are just complaining all the time, they've always got bad news to bring you, always gossiping, always full of a lot of drama, chances are you are now feeding your emotional and mental imbalance. So to get it, to get it back to balance, we've got to start asking ourselves one simple question. That question is what matters most right now? What matters at this moment in time? It doesn't matter what they're doing to you. It only matters what you are doing to yourself. So always remember that when we talk about becoming more balanced in our emotions, forget about them, focus on you by going into nature and saying, woohoo. <laughs> and there you have it. We're out here, baby. We're in nature. Woo. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Have a beautiful day. We're out here infinite waters diving deep once again stay well stay healthy <laughs>